Welcome to the Creative Pugsa. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create realistic water reflections in a Fendi photo. This technique is good to use when you want to add water reflections to images that you can't capture perfectly on camera. Although this effect works well with landscapes and cityscape images, you can apply water reflections to a variety of different images. First, go to File Open and select the image you downloaded. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate the picture. Turn the original image off and label it original in the Layers panel. Second, grab the Crop tool from the Tools panel. We want to crop the image so that we only have the area we want to use for the reflection. In the Context toolbar, make sure the mode is unconstrained and the overlay is thirds grid. Take the Crop tool and drag the bottom middle area up to the section below the houses. Then press Apply. With the Crop image selected, right-click on the layer in the Layers panel. Select Rasterize and Trim. We now need to resize the canvas. To do this, go to the Document menu and select Resize Canvas. Click the lock icon to unlock it. The height is what we need to change, so you will make the height twice the current height. Since the current height of the image is 768 pixels, you'd make the new height 1,536 pixels. Then click Resize. Now press Ctrl and J to duplicate the rasterized layer. Label this layer Reflection in the Layers panel. Right click on the reflection picture, then go to Transform Flip Vertical. Make sure snapping is turned on in the toolbar. Press Shift and drag the image to the bottom of the canvas. In the Layers panel, label the background layer top and drag it above the reflection layer. Select the reflection layer. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate the layer and label this layer Motion Blur. With the Motion Blur layer selected, go to the Filters menu. Then go to Blur Motion Blur. Set the radius to 40 pixels and the rotation to 90 degrees. Select the Motion Blur layer and the Reflection layer. Press Ctrl, Shift, and the E key to merge the two layers together. Or you can go to the Layers menu and select Merge Selected. Now grab the Smudge tool from the Tools panel. Go to the Brushes panel. Then go to the basic brushes and select the 128 pixel round light brush. In the context toolbar, set the strength to 10%. Select the reflection layer. Take the brush and go over the reflection. This starts to create a natural look, making the reflection appear the way it would in water. In the layers panel, click the add pixel layer icon to add a new layer. Make sure this new layer is between the reflection layer and the top layer. Next, go to the Swatches panel. The fill color should be white. Go to the Edit menu and select Fill with Primary Color. This will fill the pixel layer with white. With the new pixel layer selected, go to the Filters menu. Select Noise, Add Noise. Set the intensity to 100%. Select Gaussian and check the monochromatic box. Next, go to the Filters menu again. This time, select Blur Motion Blur. Set the radius to 50 pixels and the rotation to 0 degrees. Now, click the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel and select Levels Adjustment. This adjustment will allow us to increase the contrast of the ripples. Set the Black level to 100%, White level to 80%, and the Gamma to 1.53. In the Layers panel, select the Levels Adjustment and the Filled Pixel Layers. Press Ctrl, Shift, and E to merge the two layers together. Or go to the Layer menu and click Merge Selected. With the Merge layer selected, grab the Perspective tool from the Tools panel. We need to stretch the ripples at the bottom. Press Shift and stretch the bottom left and bottom right corners outward. Then press Shift and push the top left and top right corners inward to make these ripples smaller. Next, select the Merge layer. Go to the Filters menu. Select Blur Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 2 pixels. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate the merge layer. Label the duplicated layer Shadows. Then press Ctrl and I to invert the layer. Set the Blend Mode to Overlay and lower the opacity to 25%. With the shadow layer still selected, press the down arrow key to push the shadow ripples down some. Now select the original merged layer. Set the blend mode to soft light and lower the opacity to 40%. Next, press Ctrl, Alt, Shift, and E to merge all the layers together. 
or go to the layer menu and select Merge Visible. In the Layers panel, turn the other layers off and leave the new merge layer on. Click the Add Pixel Layer icon in the Layers panel to add a new pixel layer. This layer should be at the top of all the other layers. After that, grab the Gradient tool from the Tools panel. Place the tool at the bottom of the image in the middle. Then, press and hold Shift and drag the tool up to the middle of the image. In the Context toolbar, select Reverse Gradient. The black color should be at the bottom and the white should be at the top. Select the white color stop. Then, go to the Swatches panel and set the opacity of this to 0% to make it transparent. In the Layers panel, set the opacity of this layer to about 35%. This will darken the bottom of the reflection. And this is how to create realistic water reflections in Affinity Photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching.